Hi everybody, it's Doreen and I'm back today with the birthday card that I've made for my mother. I got this idea to make this birthday card by watching another YouTuber's channel and her channel is Do Stamping and she has a series of videos called How'd She Do That? The name of her card was called Ice Cream Shop Awning Card and she had a little awning on the top with some ice cream cones sitting on a shelf. So I decided to take that same idea and make this card for my mother but instead of having ice cream cones I decided to use shoes because my mother loves shoes and so do I but I don't have as nearly as many shoes as she does. The other thing that I did on my card was I put underneath the awning a stamp that says a girl can never have too many shoes and that is definitely true. So come on and join me and I'm going to show you how I made this card. Hey okay, everybody so I'm going to go ahead and bring up my supplies so we can get started making the card. So the first thing is my card measures eight and a half by five and a half and I've taken it and scored it in half to make it a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card. And the cardstock that I'm using is some more of that cardstock that I got from Joanne Fabrics. It's their textured brand. And as I've said before, um, this doesn't work very well if you're going to use it in your Cricut. So I was going to take it back, but I decided to go ahead and keep it and just use it for my card base, bases for making my cards. So now, the first thing, I'm going to go ahead and just put this aside for right now, because what we want to do is go ahead and create the awning for the card. Now, I've already gone ahead and started creating my awning, and I cut a piece of cardstock, and this cardstock measures four and a quarter by two inches and I've scored it at three eighths of an inch and I scored it again at one and a quarter inches. So what you'll do is on the three eighths inch side you're just going to go ahead and fold that scored back this way like so because you want this to lay down on the card like an awning. And then for the bottom, the one and a quarter inch side, you'll score that one going back this way, like so. So before you go ahead and do your scoring to really fold it back, you're going to go ahead and take your scallop punch. And I used the Stampin' Up! Scallop Punch. And I lined it up. And I went ahead and punched out my scallops. So now the next thing that I've done is I've gone ahead and taken some black cardstock. Now this cardstock here is the same cardstock stock, card stock as the cardstock that I'm using for the base of my card. And I took and punched out five of the window word punch, which is by Stampin' Up. And I put the black on every other scallop to match up the scallops. So you're going to leave the first one with not by itself. And then you'll add your next window word scallop on top. And you'll just do every other one. So now I, I have already done four of them. And I'm going to add the last one. And when you punch it out, it looks like this. So then I'm going to just go ahead and take my Tombow adhesive and I'm going to get some tape on there and what you want to make sure that you do is you want to make sure you get it all the way on the edges because as you remember or as you can see you're going to be folding this back so you want it to stick well and what I do is I line up my scallops And then I just go ahead and adhere it down 
and I make sure that it's down there really well which it is and now I can go ahead and take and bend my score marks like so so now the awning is ready to go on the card so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and lay our card out flat and then I'm just gonna line up because you want this to line up edge to edge just like that so that it kind of lifts up and that looks about how I want it so I'm just gonna go ahead and you're only gonna put your tape along here and I think for this I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use some score tape because I want to make sure that this really stays down so let me get my score tape I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use the quarter inch size of my score tape and I'm just gonna go ahead and line the score tape on the edge and just go all the way across and what I like about the score tape is you can just tear this you don't have to have scissors to um, cut it so let's go ahead now that we have that down we're going to go ahead and peel off the backing and then I'm going to go ahead and add my awning to my card and I want to make sure I get this lined up exactly on the edge there and then I'll press down so there's my little awning for my card so now let's go ahead and we're going to add the shelf to put the shoes on so now this piece of cardstock measures let's see four and a quarter by three and a quarter and what I've done again is I've gone ahead and you should score it at two and a quarter and then I've used my scallop punch again to put some scallops on the edge and when you score you're gonna fold it back like so and then what I did was I took some of this clear acetate and I apologize I don't remember the name of this I got this on eBay and if I remember the name I will include it in the video or if I find the name but I just took a piece and cut it the same size and I put that on top of but I didn't go all the way up to the edge and I put that on using some score tape again and I'm just gonna line that up because I want that to go right on the edge of the card like so but before I go ahead and add, adhere this down, I'm going to take my ribbon and put my ribbon across here. And I got this ribbon at Michael's in the dollar bin. And what I want to do is I want to go ahead again and make some ribbon loops. And I'm going to use my tiny attacher to add my loops. So the first thing I want to go ahead and do is I want to tape this down and line it up first of all where I want it to start my loops. So I'm going to have my ribbon about right there. So I'm not going to cut it off the spool. I'm going to just work from the spool. So let's go ahead and take some tape and tape this down. So we're going to tape it down on the back and then we're going to start the ribbon loops. So the first loop I'm going to fold back like so and then I'm going to take my tiny attacher tool and staple down like so. So now we're ready to start our loops. So, I'm going to once again, I'm going to hold my finger and then I'm going to fold back again. Oh, wait. Make 
make sure I get that right because I want it to be pretty much even. So and we'll go ahead and we'll staple again and make our next loop. Fold back again. And I'm actually just matching this up with the previous one. And then I'm going to staple down again. Okay, so now I don't want to go all the way across with the loops. I'm going to just go ahead and I might make one more and then I'm going to stop. And then just send the ribbon across. So this will be the last loop. And then I'll staple. And then go across. And then I'll go ahead and cut my ribbon. And I hope you were able to see that. And I hope I was in camera frame. And just snip my ribbon. And then go along on the back side. And then what we'll do is we'll take some tape. And take that side down. So now I have my ribbon with my loops. So we can move this out the way. And then we can go ahead and line up. And then once again I'm going to fold that down. And measure out. That's where I want it. And then I'm going to go ahead and take the ATG gun and get some tape on here. And then we'll just tape this down to the card. So we're going to go all the way around, get our edges, and then we'll get in the middle. And now we can go ahead and add this part to the card. So, so now we've got that down. And I noticed I do have some adhesive along the edge there. So I'm just going to take my adhesive remover tool and go ahead and get that off. There we go. So now we're ready to add the shoes. But I think before we go ahead and put our shoes down, I want to go ahead and stamp out my stamp up underneath the awning. Okay, so now my stamp actually says a girl can never have too many shoes. And that is so true. Um, I picked this stamp up at a rubber stamp show a couple years ago. And the name of the company is Too Much Fun, rubberstamp.com. Now, what I realized was I wanted to use at first my stamp on my jig so I could line this up and get it centered. But because I've already placed the awning already down, my stamp on my jig sheet will not fit under there. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to eyeball this and hope that I get it centered. So let's go ahead and do this. So there we are. So when it sits down, she can lift that up and then that's when she'll see that. Okay. So now the next thing we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and add our shoes. Now, I've cut out the shoes using my Cricut and I got the shoes from two different cartridges. The first shoe, well first I'm going to line up how I want them before I tell you which cartridge I got them from. So I believe I want one facing this way. And I'm going to have one facing that way. And 
and then one facing that way. So they'll be like so. And it looks like they're sitting. I'm going to put them down just a little bit further because we want it to look like they're sitting on the shelf. Like so. Okay, so now for the first shoe, we'll go ahead and we're going to start with this one because we'll do this one first, put this one down first. I got this shoe from, let's see, what cartridge? It is from the Gypsy Wanderings cartridge. So this is a cartridge that um, came with your Gypsy. And it is key number 38. And the shoe looks like this. So now what I did to cut the shoe, because I wanted it to be small and narrow, is I removed the ratio button that you have that's right here on your Gypsy. And I made the height 1.25 and the width 1.21. And I cut all the shoes in white. And then I used my Distress inks to color the shoes the colors that I wanted. So with this shoe, what I used to color it was I used my... Broken China Distress Ink. And then I took some of the Baby Blue Stickles and put that on the heel of the shoe. And then I used my IROC tool with the bling and the gems. And I put the bling on the tip of the shoe. So now, I've already got some sticky back on here because I wanted these to kind of sit up so I'm going to go ahead and remove the backing from the sticky back and we're going to add the first shoe and we're going to sit it down right here in the middle like so so now the next shoe this one here this one is from the tie the knot cartridge and it is on page 47 of the handbook and it looks like so I cut this one right here so that would be key number 24 on your gypsy and it looks like this and I did the same thing with the height and width I made the height 1.25 and the width 1.26. And then I went ahead and I used the Faded Jeans Distress Ink to color in the shoe. And for the bow, I used some of the... Let's see. The Black Soot. Distress ink. And then I took some, uh, let's see, what color was that? Here it is. I took some turquoise stickles and put that on the heel of the shoe. And then I added some bling in the middle. So let's go ahead and take off the backing for this one. And we'll add this shoe. And we're going to put that one right along here. I'm just going to push this down just a little bit because it got bent. Okay, so now we can go ahead and add the last shoe. Now the last shoe I distressed with the black soot. And then I also distressed it with the faded jean. And I mixed the faded jean with the antique linen so it ended up coming out like this and then I put I use my IROC tool again and put some bling on the toe and then for the heel I used the black diamond stickles to put on the heel 
Now this shoe is from the wedding cartridge. So what I did with this one, and there's no handbook for necessarily for this one either. It looks like this. And I went ahead and I cut out the shadow and the shift. And it is key number five. So there's the shadow. And then I also cut out the actual shoe. Now let's see which card number that is. That is key number five. So it looks like this. And this was also cut at the height of 1.25 and the width was 1.46. So now let's go ahead and take off the backing for this one and we'll add this shoe to the card. And we're going to put this shoe right here. So now we have all three shoes on the card. So now the last thing I want to do for the front of the card is I want to go ahead and I've Go ahead and made another one of the flowers that I learned how to ma make from Kathy, whose YouTube channel is, or I'm sorry, her blog channel is paperphenomenon.blogspot.com. And she gives you the cut file for this flower and how to make it. So if you just go to her website, You'll see the cut file there, and you can use it. Um, she's using the Gypsy for the cut file. And if you look at some of my previous videos, I explain which cartridge it came from. So now, when I cut this out, I cut this out as well in cream color cardstock. And it looks like this when you cut it out. Let me pull up just one. And then I took and five of those, and what I did was I glimmer misted them using the Raven Glimmer Mist and the Sapphire. Then once I had them heat set and they were all put together, I then took and added some turquoise glitter. So now I'm going to use my glue gun and go ahead and add my flower. And we're going to put the flower right there. I will put the link to Kathy's channel or the link to her blog where she has this cut file in this video as well. So now that we have that on, I'm ready to add the inside of my card. Now for the inside of my card, I've gone ahead and printed out on my computer a sentiment to my mother. And I'm not going to read it because it's kind of personal to her. But once I printed it out, I it, with just some regular printer paper, I adhered it to some black cardstock because I wanted it to be heavier than the inside of the card because as I said before this cardstock is really thin so once I, I had adhered it I then took my Fleur de Lis Spellbinders die that looks like this I haven't poked the black cardstock out of there and I ended up getting this so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add that to the inside of my card and I'm gonna use my ATG gun to do that. So let me go ahead and get that out and get some tape on there. And I'm just going to get the tape on the inside of the card. I'm not going to put anything on the scallop piece. So now we're just going to go ahead and line this up inside the card. And then I'm going to press down. So 
So that's it. That's my take on the ice cream card that I learned how to make watching Don Oshesky's YouTube channel on how to make this card. Rather than making the ice cream cones, I decided to make a shoe shop. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.